Good day. When I heard this story, it made me hold my breath. Yes, President Trump is reportedly looking at firing the Federal Reserve Chairman, Jerome Powell. I think this is true. And possibly there is a plan here. President Trump, maybe he's got a plan to do something about the Federal Reserve in the United States. This is hot. These guys are, of course, crooked bankers. They manipulate nations. That's what they do. We see the same problem in most nations. The crooked uh, Federal Reserve bankers. Yeah. And if anyone could do this in the United States, it would be President Trump. Because he's got balls. Yeah, he's got balls of steel. But he better get some extra protection. These guys are lethal. All right. I also want to tell you about how I am not very impressed with some politicians here in Sweden. Uh, this is from uh, the city council of Hörby. It's a town here in Sweden. And they had their last meeting of the year. Okay. And it ended. The members, well, the socialists, the communists and the greens, they left prematurely. You see? Because the meeting was adjourned for a traditional Christmas table Christmas celebration. So all these elected politicians, they get together, eat some good food and have a good time. But the, the Greens, the, no, the Socialists and the Communists, they left. And the reason was they did not want to attend the celebration together with the Nationalists. <laughs> so they are elected politicians. They all are. And, the, and these guys can't stay in the same room, at least pretending to have a good time. No, they had to leave. It's so pathetic. So that's what happened. Well, let's say that the nationalists were replaced by some, you know, let's say 15 ISIS warriors. I'm sure that the Greens and the Socialists and the Communists would have stayed. I'm sure. Yeah. It's so silly, isn't it? And here's more silliness from Sweden. You know, we still don't have a government. We had an election in September. And the problem is the Nationalist Party. They are too big, you see. So the other ones, they have to work themselves around this problem. I have been talking about this a lot. You know, they try to form a government and they, they have to block the Nationalist Party. So they have a huge problem. Now they say that possibly they will have a government ready on uh, January 16. But it's not for certain. So we'll see what happens. And there's an interesting thing here. You know, most of these guys who have been very, very active in blocking the nationalists, most of them are now very afraid that there might be an extra election. Isn't that interesting? So they are elected politicians and they are afraid of another election. They are afraid, basically, of hearing the voice of the people. They are afraid of democracy. They are. Of course, these guys should not be politicians. Of course not. They should be doing something else. I can think of many things that they could do instead. So this is crazy. All right. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I totally enjoy talking to you. I do. And I love reading the comments. Brilliant comments. Many of them. So, Merry Christmas. Bye.